In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to convert percents to mixed numbers. So let's start with 435%. The first thing you want to do is convert the percent to a decimal number. You could do that by dividing it by 100% or moving the decimal point two units to the left. So 435% is equal to 4.35. Now, 4.35, you want to break it up into a whole number and a decimal. This is 4 plus 0.35. Next, the decimal portion of the number, convert that to a fraction. Notice that, let's put it over 1. Notice that we have two digits to the right of the decimal point. In this case, we're going to multiply by 100 over 100. The 5 goes to the hundreds place. So we're going to multiply by 100 over 100 to convert it to a fraction. 0.35 times 100 is 35. 1 times 100 is 100. Now, we need to simplify the fraction. 35 and 100, they're both divisible by 5. They're multiples of 5. 35 divided by 5 is 7. 100 divided by 5 is 20. So 0.35 is 7 over 20 as a fraction. So what we now have is 4 plus 7 over 20. When you have a whole number plus a fraction, you can write it as a mixed number. So the answer is going to be 4 and 720. That is, and 7 over 20. So that's how we can convert a percentage into a mixed number. Now, let's do the same for the next example. 765%. Let's convert that to a decimal number by dividing this number by 100%. So moving the decimal point two units to the left, we're going to get 7.65. Now let's break this number into a whole number and the decimal. So this is 7 plus 0.65. Now 0.65, let's convert that to a fraction. Since it ends in the hundreds place, we're going to multiply the top and bottom by 100. This will give us 65 over 100. Anytime a number ends in a 5 or a 0, they're divisible by 5. So dividing both of these numbers by 5, it will give us 13 over 20. So we can replace 0 0.65 with 13 over 20. And we could write that as a mixed number. So our answer is going to be 7 and 13 over 20. So now you know how to convert a percentage into a mixed number.